Hey guys, how are you? It's Fahad from oldprovider.com and today I am back with another amazing ROM for our Redmi Note 11 users as you can see here and this is the Raven UI latest build let me show you its details right here as you can see here it is looking pretty much beautiful and it is showing Android version 12 and this is the Raven UI 9.0 SE Vivo addition for our Redmi Note 11 and from here you can also check the old specs and it is working on the MIUI 13 stable build as you can see here and uh, and in this video I will be showing you is it stable for daily usage and we will also cover the old Raven UI features and we will also talk about the bugs and issues so without any further ado let's get started I will also show you uh, its in installation at the end of this video So first of all let's talk about the uh, so first of all let's start from the performance the performance of this rom is not that good as you can see here this rom is pretty much laggy and if you want to try this rom and test it out then you can use it out and uh, otherwise you cannot use it as your daily driver as you can see here the animations are also pretty much good but these are not smoothest animations as you can see here it is taking a little bit uh, it is taking a little bit time to open the application by the way here we have MIUI camera because this is a MIUI ROM from this camera you can use every feature every single thing is just working fine in this ROM so no need to be worried about the camera and here we have the beautiful home screen I just added some widgets to the home screen as you can see here and it is looking pretty much beautiful you can do it out by just pressing and holding on empty space on the home screen just click on widgets and from here you can add a lot of widgets to your home screen and uh, if you want wallpapers then you can go to the wallpapers and by the way this wallpaper this <laughs> pretty hot wallpaper is pre-installed and this is a good wallpaper for nine lovers by the way you can also use the uh, live wallpapers and you can also download the uh, other wallpapers snowy peak is available i don't know why it stopped working then we have home screen settings and it is pretty much it you can set up the default launcher you can uh, adjust the animation speed this is a full uh, customizable launcher then we have system navigation bar and all other settings you can customize it out as you can see here a lot of options are available right here from the left you can check the app vault I don't know why it is uh, showing in the Chinese so if we talk about the animations here we have a lot of bloatware a lot of Xiaomi applications are pre-installed right here now let's go to the settings and have a look on the customizations first of all here we have my device we have uh, android version as raven version uh, right here then you can all check the supported devices right from here so it will show you the all supported devices from the telegram then we have raven ui features here we have all available customizations so first of all here we have extra dim control right here then we have anti-flicker mode then we have uh, then you can set the dpi then we have theme app server you can set it to any of these then we have status bar style let's try style 3 and it just changed the status bar style as you can see here let's try style 5 and as you can see here it is looking pretty much interesting let's try the 8 and it is looking like this but we will use the uh, default one the stock one then we have floating window feature right here kid space second space then we have MIUI lab right here and the privacy protection lab and light mode then we have and uh, connectivity options VPN wallpaper and personalization from here you can change the wallpapers right from here you can change the always on display let's try it out if it is working let's apply this one and as you can see here it is working pretty much fine because it is a AMOLED display that's why it is looking pretty much cool so you can change its style as you want a lot of styles are available right here then we have the uh, lock screen clock style as you can see here you can change it out then we have icon styles right here you can change the icon style right from here we have the default one ultraviolet let's try this one 
and it is just applying ultraviolet application icons looks like this it is looking pretty much cool isn't it it is beautiful than the MIUI stock icons then we have the raven ui after it you can change the icon size you can also change the background color and um, then we have the library you can change the ring tones notification alarm you can also set up the effects for the notifications then we have phone styles then we have themes and by default we have three themes default ultraviolet and raven ui which have the uh, ios features so you can also import it out and you can also check from the play store uh, sorry the theme store as well after it here we have always on display and lock screen from here you can enable or disable the always on display and you can make changes to the lock screen then we have display option right here in the display you can set up the uh, light display or you can use the dark mode then you can also schedule the dark mode uh, here we have brightness level reading mode color scheme and you can also change the refresh rate to 90 hertz or 60 hertz so it is working pretty much smooth now after changing to the 90 hertz and now applications are opening pretty much quickly as you can see here uh, let's try the messaging application it is just opening quickly as you can see here after it here we have phone settings ai image engine and some vr settings sorry then we have sound and vibrations here we have all sounding effects and options notification and control center from here you can also change the control center to the old one and we also have some tweaks right here to do and then we have fingerprint face data and screen locks all security options are working pretty much fine screen lock fingerprint face unlock is also pretty much working fine so no need to be worried about the security in this room everything is just working fine so after it here we have security privacy battery the battery performance of this room is also pretty much good and here we have battery saver ultra battery saver and you can also check the battery issues let's fix it out you can also check the battery states right from here it's been almost three two or three days i have been using this and it is working pretty much fine the battery backup of this rom is pretty much impressive but the performance of this rom is not that stable it is smooth uh, with the 90 hertz but if you put it on the 60 hertz it will start lagging you will face a lot of lags in this rom but with the 90 hertz it is pretty much smooth after it here we have uh, apps additional settings screen time google accounts and sync so this was the review of it and uh, let me show you its geekbench results so these are the uh, benchmark scores of this rom as you can see here it just scored 385 on single core and it scored 1695 on multi cores and these scores are pretty much impressive it just scored more than the other custom roms that means you can use it if you want to if you want to use this rom uh, as your daily driver then you just need to use this rom on the 90 hertz and if you switch to the 60 hertz this rom will start lagging and it will uh, not give you a good for performance so other than that everything is just working fine in this rom the rom is also not that, not that laggy so i don't know about the bugs of the rom i don't know if it is pretty much uh, completely stable or if we have uh, a little bit of bugs but in my testing i have not faced any bug or issue in this rom everything is just working fine but i will still recommend you to uh, use a custom rom instead using of this rom because this rom is not that good enough but scores of uh, the geekbench scores of this rom is pretty much cool so how you can install it on your redmi note 11 so just download the rom from the link in the description and reboot your device into an installed custom recovery so here we have the recovery so the installation method is pretty much simple and if you have any question or queries about this video then you can ask us in the comment section and you can also ask us on the telegram telegram group and channel link is in the description box so after going into the recovery just put the downloaded rom into a external hard drive or you can also use a micro sd card right now i am using a external hard drive so just go to wipe click on format data and type yes 
and hit tick button i'm not going to do these steps because i have already installed it just uh, after formatting data go back to home click on install and now just plug in your external hard drive or just go to uh, your sd card let's uh, choose usb otg click on ok and now you have to locate your downloaded raven ui 9.0 as you can see here i have it right here raven ui 9.0 se vivo spes just click on it and by the way it will work on uh, spes and spes and redmi note 11 uh, normal version and redmi note 11 nfc it will work on both just flash it right from here after flashing it out just go back to home click on advance and from here you have to select flash current twrp recovery just flash it right from here after flashing it out you can also flash the magics manager if you want to root your rom then click on reboot and click on system and after a few minutes your rom will be installed and booted up on your redmi note 11 so this was the installation and review video of latest raven ui 9.0 se edition for our redmi note 11 so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates keep supporting thanks for watching peace a lot of stuff is on the way so don't uh, miss it out